this the weekend and there are quite a few airdrops to go and claim so without anything wasting time we jump straight to the laptop over here and the first thing that I want to go and talk to you is the lava airdrop. Now, I want to place this a couple of seconds here because it is probably going to be the most lucrative and rewarding airdrop in 2024 because it is completely different from all the other testnet airdrop tokens, etc. And we heard a lot about it, but if you haven't heard about it, the link is down below for you to join. It is an invitational link only to go and do this. It is a point system. So once you sign up, you're going to go and edit the RPC provider on your MetaMask wallet. You have the Ethereum, the Near, the Stark, the Axelor, different wallet as well, depending on which one that you need to do. But let's take the, for example, you know, the MetaMask wallet. Once you go on the MetaMask wallet to go and change the RPC, and basically this one does not affect anything that you go and do. It is simply a new RPC for the transactions, which means a connection when you go and do swaps, buy, sells, nothing really to worry about in this. If this goes down, if this fails, you can always switch to the original RPC of your MetaMask wallet. And to go and change it, click on the three dots over here. We go on to settings, then we go on to the plug over here, and it will open up this page. Onto the plug node over here, you select the chain that we want to go and talk. For example, here we got the selected chain, Ethereum. We go to the Ethereum chain, new URL RPC. We simply go and change this one. So we can go on add a new one, add manually, RPC, and everything. So you go and add it manually over here. And if you also need more explanation or have a, you know, written, there is also the how it works bottom over here, which will give you all the instruction. Also other picture, like we did see account one, account two, add, etc., which will give you, you know, information to how to farm. But I think this one is going to be one of the best airdrop in 2024 to go and farm now. But let's go about the claim. So the first claiming, if you have lived under a rock, is the wormhole airdrop. You are gonna, you are able to go and claim it very, very soon. For now, you are gonna go and claim your allocation, which is gonna be opening on this website over here. You put your, you know, your EVM, your Solana, your Sui. Make sure to check all of them. Do not fade any. Don't think, oh, I haven't used Aptos, oh, I haven't used this, Osmosis, whatever. Go and check it out. Go and do all of the wallets. I personally have no, uh, no allocation for this one, as you see. You know eligible, you can try their wallet. So make sure to go and try them all. You will get your token very, very soon. They are already trading. I believe it is about $2 in the secondary market. So, you know, let me know down in the comments below how much or how many airdrops you received. The next up is also another information is from the Python network, which says on Sunday, say cheese. This video comes out on Sunday, depending when you watch it. So keep an eye out on the Python network Twitter page because it does seem like there is another snapshot for all the Pyth stakers. If you do stake any Pyth, let me know in the comments how many you've got, how many staked you've got, and what is going on with the Python if you got any airdrop within that ecosystem. But as of right now that I'm recording this on Sunday, nothing is out yet. So make sure to go and keep an eye out and I will take you more videos, of course, if there are more information. The next airdrop that we can go and claim is the Saga airdrop over here. It's on the Kepler wallet, so you can simply connect the wallet, approve, and I will leave the link down below. And if you are eligible for any of this airdrop, you will see here that you are going to be eligible. Now, this Saga airdrop, it is for people that utilize uh, the Kepler wallet and stake tokens such as Tia, Cosmos, and all the others. So make sure to go and check it before an X amount of periods. For example, I'm a little bit too late. And I believe this one was also for repeatedly staking TIA tokens. So, for example, this means that if you had 100 tokens staked in January, the snapshot should have been different in February, meaning that you should have had 120 tokens. So that there was an increase in the staked amount of token within your Kepler wallet. I am not eligible, as you see here, because I did not put any new token within the wallet to go and uh, stake even more. So this is why I am not eligible, but you could be eligible. One airdrop that I am eligible, however, is the Hava coin over here. This is also for supporting networks for taken for stakers of Cosmos, Celestia, Juno, Injective, Osmosis, and Chihuahua, as you see over here. And simply with one wallet, I only have Celestia, I don't stake Cosmos, Juno, or the others, but a lot of people do stake Injective. I have received, as you see here, check the status on the Celestia. We simply go to check the status, we go into our Kepler wallet, we click on copy address, we pick the token that we want, Celestia, we go and put it over here. 
check status and as you see here i have 887,000 hava tokens which will be very soon claimable but as of right now they are here you can check your location claim it as well very very soon next up we got the enjoy token over here this is another token is the first erc20 token on the zora network with a total supply of yeah, 111 I, I think it is 111 million token if i'm not mistaken or 111 billion token 111 million 111 tokens so they went all for the 111 yes the website looked dodgy but you know go and check it out go and check how to claim go and see everything over here the airdrop number one criteria for you to go and be able to claim these tokens were to be an account you must control must fall into one of the following criteria top 500 active zora creators in terms of nfts 10,000 active zora collectors disciplines of jacob uh, forecaster ogs which i personally do not have i am not a zora network users and the airdrop also season two will be distributed based on points earned from tips in Zora mean comments. So this is something to also keep an eye out. Make sure to follow them. Go over to their Twitter on the Enjoy Tech, which, you know, make sure to go and check it out and see whether you are eligible or not. The next up is another set of airdrops for the Dojo Swap, which once again, it is connected to your Kepler wallet, which we saw here. And depending on claiming, depending on stacking, depending on utilization of the network, there are a few airdrops that you can go and check if you are eligible with the snapshot period being taken, for example, the 5th of March, 10th of March. So make sure that you go and check if you are eligible for all of these. Once again, in the Kepler wallet, if you only do TIA, potentially you're not able to claim all of this but if you go and do injective cosmos and all the others you could be potentially able to claim all of these tokens i personally am not because i simply have tia and i put them there a couple of months ago and i didn't really went and updated like other protocols were asking to do so make sure to go and check that one the last one is the claim the manta golden treasure shovel now this one is a nft for Manta users, which did go and burn, there is still a few left that you can mint over 2.2, you know, 2,000, a little bit over. And this is for the users that went and burned the mythical Manta NFT or into the blue and the first modular air to new paradigm NFT, which were the tokens or the NFTs that we did receive when we were stuck in our Ethereum and we did receive the stone back. So these were the um, you know, when it came to these NFTs, how to collect them. I don't know who went to burn it. Apparently not many people burned that NFTs, but if you did burn it, then you are able to go and claim one of these golden treasure shower NFT. So make sure to go and check it out because you never know what happened. But with that said, guys, thank you for watching. And let me know what you think down in the comments below about this airdrop, if you're able to claim any, if you claim one, two, three, four, all of them, or simply you were not able to claim. For me, it was one out of the five or six that we went to see. So let me know down in the comments below your thoughts, how you're doing. And with that, thank you for watching. And I see you all in tomorrow's video. Ciao, guys.